I'll tell you something right now. You audience, I'm telling you, that's a first. Guy comes out here in a wheelchair, you're booing him. <laughs> Javon is paralyzed, confined to a wheelchair. Taisha says he's a deadbeat dad. No sympathy for him. I have no sympathy for him. Just because I'm in a wheelchair, that don't make me no sucker. He was told he couldn't have kids. You wasn't in the bed when we uh, wasn't being in the somewhere, y'all. This paralyzed man, the father, Jovan. This is Taisha. Backstage is Jovan. Now, Jovan is paralyzed. He's confined to a wheelchair. But despite that disability, Taisha is determined to prove that Jovan is the father of her three year old daughter, my love. <laughs> How cute is she? Now, Javon admits to having sex with Taisha, but insists because of his paralysis, he cannot have kids. Now, Taisha says, don't be fooled by those excuses. Taisha says he's a deadbeat dad, and she's going to prove it today. Watch. I heard that my father's show, I was hurt because he had not done anything for her for three years. I called the show because there's no way I can make a baby. I'm paralyzed. I'm not my love's father. I do not feel bad for Javon. He's a baby father. He don't do nothing for my love. Javon knows his baby. Just because I'm in a wheelchair, that don't make me no sucker. I'm not taking care of a baby that's not mine. Javon gets a disability check every month, and my daughter deserves some of that money. She needs sneakers, she needs clothing, undershirts. I can't do this. Oh, I can't, I can't. Taisha ain't nothing but a gold thing. She's after my disability check. If Javon can will himself over to parties and have sex with girls, he can will himself over to my house and take care of my love. Don't want to feel bad for Javon because he's a deadbeat father. He's no good. Now, first of all, I want everybody to know that Javon's cousin, Shanetta, who's been his caretaker for 10 years, is in our audience. We're going to talk to her in a moment. But first, Taisha, no sympathy for him. No, I don't. I don't have no sympathy for him. Because, first of all, I've been doing this for three years. I've been taking care of my love. I've been working. I've been doing everything for my love, taking her to the doctor, doing everything a mother should be doing for her. I've been doing all I could for my but love. You know, but, but you know, uh, that's a pretty good excuse he's got, isn't it? Yes, but if his thing could stick up more, he could get, he could get, if his thing could stick up, he could have a baby. I'm not trying to hear that. No, nah, I'm not trying to hear it. Okay, my thing is, he, he met you, had sex with you two days later. Not only that, if you're supposed to be a woman, why would you have unprotected sex with somebody two days after you meet him? Two days after you meet him? And then expect him, and then expect him, and then expect him to take care of baby that he don't even know his life. You wasn't in the bed when we were talking to First of all, we want to know the whole situation. Because my love, she's been sick. Yes, she has. She, she, she went through heart surgery when she was five months. She had heart surgery. They told me my baby wasn't going to live. My baby's a miracle. She lived. She was on medicine was Javon, and everything. He was wasn't nowhere to, he wasn't nowhere around. I was doing it. I was doing it. I was drunk. I was doing it. I was working and taking care of my baby. He was told he couldn't have kids. So how do you expect him to just up and take care of a baby that he's not even sure is his because he was told that he can't have none? And by the way, he called the he show. I'm here calling him a deadbeat. How you gonna call him a deadbeat and he's okay, not sure if it's his baby? It is his. It is. The oh, but that's why we're here today. Okay. That's why we're here today. That's why we're here today. That's why we're here today. This is what Javon said, watch. I've had sex with over 30 different women since I've been paralyzed. No one else has ever been pregnant. The reason I haven't given you no money for my disability check because I'm not my little father. When I had sex with you, I couldn't tell if I finished. For all I know, you could be lying. As soon as you told me you were pregnant, I told you the child wasn't mine. Who knows what you was doing behind closed doors? We only had sex a few times. Quit telling the world I'm my love's father. Until the words come out Mari's mouth, I'm not your baby's daddy. Okay. Oh, no. Here's Jovan. Let's bring Jovan. Here he is. Hi, Jovan. How are you? How you doing, Mari? I'll, 
I'll tell you something oh. right now. You audience, I'm telling you, that's a first. Guy comes out here in a wheelchair, you're booing him. <laughs> I'm good, Mar. My lord. I'm good, Mar. How are you, Javon? Good All right, what's good, you. sir? All right, maintain it. Nice to see you. All right. Javon, you the father of that child? No. Does that child look like you? Look. No, she looks like her mom. She looks like her mom. Who called the show? Me. He did. She did. Huh? I called the show. And my thing is, Javon cries about this. Javon stresses about this. And well, this wait, just well, is not affecting him. But it's wait affecting a second. Our family. If you haven't had any children, and you don't think you can have, wouldn't you like to be a dad? Yeah. Huh? Yes. You would? I mean, it would be a miracle and a blessing at the same time if it is his. Well, then, okay. So, in a way, you should be hoping that it is. Yeah. I mean, in a way, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we might as well find out the results, okay? Oh. Let's do it. Oh. Javon. Your cousin said that if you're the father, that that little girl will be well taken care of, right? Yeah, it will. Okay. When it comes to three-year-old my love, Jovan, you are not. Baby and two men tell.